Hello, my name is Eric Jacobson, and I'm so excited to come conduct the Orlando Philharmonic Orchestra. The concert that we'll give in January ends with one of my favorite pieces called Scheherazade. It's written by Nikolai Rimsky-Korsakov, and it is truly a thrilling piece. It was written on the story of 1001 Nights, and by choosing a story about storytelling, Rimsky-Korsakov gives himself carte blanche to sort of do anything to us. And he tells us a story, tells us a fairy tale, these amazing harmonies, and more or less the greatest orchestration and use of an orchestra that's, that's possible. Uh, on the first half, we're gonna play a piece by Zhao Jiping, who's a Chinese composer living today. He's known for film music, like Raise the Red Lantern or Farewell My Concubine. And what he's doing is he's taking a Chinese folk song and incorporating it into his concerto for pipa, an orchestra. A pipa is a traditional Chinese instrument. Uh, it looks a little bit like an oud or a guitar, but it's played upright like this. And actually the history of the pipa is that it traveled from the West, from the Middle East, to China and became the pipa. So you have Rimsky-Korsakov looking East and writing a piece incorporating the story of 1001 Nights, and you have Zhao Jiping in China using an instrument from the West and making a new piece uh, for pipa and orchestra. The concert all starts with Debussy, um, the prelude of, to Afternoon of the Fawn, uh, based loosely on the poem by Stéphane Mallarmé. Um, he wrote this piece a few years after he attended the 1889 World's Expo in Paris, where he heard sounds that he had never heard before from the Middle East, from Russia, from China, from Japan, all over the Far East, including Java, where he heard gamelan music. And uh, he started incorporating these sounds into his own music. So you have Rimsky-Korsakov writing about uh, a story, you have Debussy writing about a poem, and you have Zhao Jiping using a folk song. And I'll leave you with one thing that Debussy said when starting to use these words, uh, these new sounds, these new uh, um, tone paintings that he got from hearing uh, sounds at the World Expo in Paris. His friends, his teachers, his colleagues asked him, why are you changing? Why are you going away from the Germanic tradition of classical music? And he answered in one of my favorite quotes uh, in music history. Uh, it's called, he, he looked at them and he said, Pleasure is the law. I really hope you come to this concert. I'm sure you'll love it. Thanks so much.